Good afternoon, everyone. As you can't tell, I'm a little tipsy. I had a Mickey's. And I had a Little King's. Show me Little King's. Uh, things. I'm working on other Mickey's. Alright, I had to get on here because I talk about some relevant YouTube topics. I mean, I discovered on Facebook and all the other places about some stuff that's been going on around the world. You know, I've seen a lot of stuff. I'll talk about this Joseph Coney character. And I finally watched a snippet of a video today. I watched a clip of Clooney on the... George Clooney on the Today Show. And he got this guy, a dictator from Uganda, blowing people up. Ethnic cleansing. Anyway, uh, I was shocked to learn that this crap has been going on for 26 years. This guy has been uh, kidnapping children, innocent children, forcing the boys to be his soldiers, to kill them, their own parents, forcing the girls into slavery, you know, um, inappropriate uh, physical type of uh, things I don't want to talk about. But I want to know is uh, why hasn't this been in the media for uh, this long? And why is it that this Coney character has just come to light recently? And why has he been allowed to get away with this crap? Why can't somebody like the U.S. or Russia or Australia send in a team of like uh, mercenaries or something and just take this guy out? Seriously. Let's get in there. Some covert operations and whatnot. Let's use some stealth crap and just blow them up. Or sneak in there. You know, and just take out all those thugs and whatnot. I mean, he's brainwashed a lot of people. I feel bad in that. You know, for the, the kids. I wish I could do something, you know, if I didn't have my own son to take care of. Maybe I'd go over there. I'd disguise myself, find a way to sneak in, take him out. I mean, look at me. What nationality do you think I am? I'm like a chameleon, you know? Without the beard, people think I'm Native American. You know, certain hats and the way I wear my hair, people think I was Chinese. Some people, I had a redneck on here, think I was Jewish. He started uh, insulting me and, you know, whatnot. I don't want to get into the crap he said, but... I look, I look Arab when I have my beard longer. I mean, I used to have a guy at work. I worked with uh, back home where I used to live. He used to call me Osama. I had a kid out here that would call him uh, Osama Bin Laden, you know, same person, but... I'd be a good government spy. Anyway, I don't get why this guy has been allowed to get away with this crap for so long. I was watching that video of George Clooney, you know, uh, over there trying to save those kids and people were just hiding in caves and, you know, out in the stand there, there's just, like, missiles and stuff, bombs that drop. Some of them didn't explode. And one of the soldiers just simply covered it up with shrubs, dead bushes. What happens if somebody beats it with a stick? Boom. So anyway, this Coney character, he's like a modern day Adolf Hitler. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why, why everybody, you know, nobody takes him out. Nuke him if you have to. But the thing is, they said they don't know where he is. Other things I've come across recently, I just randomly on Twitter typed in Salt Dot O'Brien, and a lot of people were angry at her and they're calling her a racist. She's a CNN anchor. You know, I've seen her on the network television before and on talk shows, but I don't have cable TV, so I don't watch CNN. But yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, 
a lot of people are not not her biggest fans I'm finding out you can read all about it just look her up you know I don't know all the details I didn't read it all but not a pick at the scratch seriously remember that Seinfeld episode I just thought I'd get on her randomly and just talk about some crap because I've been posting like a lot of go animate cartoons I've done close to 80 of them and you know I used to do some comedy stuff on here, some improv. Occasionally I get on here and talk about things. It's more fun for, you know, people when I'm, I'm, ah, forget it. Anyway, I want to talk about some rel relevant news topics and whatnot. Go ahead and uh, post some crap down there on my comments. If anybody even bothers watching this. Well, that racket here in the background is two of my wiener dogs chasing each other back and forth. Uh, they're, they're brothers. They play and they act like jackasses. And they take brotherly love to an inappropriate level, if you know what I mean. Because they corn cob each other. Let's put it that way. When I'm not looking, I have to break it up. So, uh, yeah. As far as politics go, I don't follow politics a lot, but a lot of people are complaining about Obama saying blah blah, oh yeah, he's ruining this country, blah blah blah. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, Obama's been a relatively boring president. I don't pay a lot of attention to him, but I find him very boring. I blame the economy on him, and they're also blaming the economy on Bush Jr., and blah blah blah. It goes back a few years, you know. And I say Obama hasn't done anything to correct it. I don't care. It'll turn around eventually. But I'll tell you, Mitt Romney's not the guy. Rick Santorum is a sleaze bag. Who, um, he's just a sleaze bag. I don't like his uh, remarks about women. I don't agree with a lot of things he says. And I think he should take an aspirin and stick it between his butt cheeks. Forget about putting it between so and so's legs and whatnot. You know. Santorum's not the guy, Romney's not the guy, Obama's not the guy. But, you know, like I said, I don't follow politics a lot. Newt Gingrich, I think, would make a decent president. I really do. But John Huntsman was, was probably a... He probably knew it was best for his country, but he dropped out because Romney was kicking his ass. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Like I said, if you want to talk about some rel relevant topics, news topics and whatnot, or post video replies, I don't care. Go ahead and do it. Peace out, bitches. Have a nice day. And have a Mickey's, because they're tasty.